five liters of pure water. I've added six cups of milk. Welcome to Dummy Living Fit. Today I'm sharing the mistakes I made when I tried to make yogurt for sale. I went in quite confident, but there were lessons to be learned. I hope this helps you avoid tragedy when you make your own attempt. So please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more OT. Making sure to whisk till there are no clumps and all the milk has dissolved, I put the milk on fire and stirred it continuously to make sure that it did not burn. When the milk started to bubble at the edges, I took it as a good sign that it was at the right temperature and pasteurized. As the milk cooled down, I stirred it to make sure that it didn't develop a filmy layer on top. The temperature I was going for was a point where if I put a few drops on the back of my hand, it wouldn't burn. The milk is still cooling down. Still warm, it's still quite hot. We need it to get warm and not hot. And over here, I've soaked my dates because I could only get dry dates. And for the recipe, we need fresh dates. So I'm soaking them for a few hours, three to four hours should do. Essentially, if you have a thermometer, it should be about 42 degrees. It should cool down to 42 degrees Celsius. We're coming up on my second mistake. Here I'm adding my yogurt starter, which is just unsweetened store-bought yogurt and adding it directly into the warm milk. Although I stirred it well for good measure, the right thing to do is to scoop a bit of the warm milk into a clean cup and mix the yogurt starter with the milk in the cup. Then pour the mixture into the bowl of milk. Another mistake I made was adding the yogurt starter culture to the milk inside a stainless steel pot. The bacteria in the starter culture that makes the milk turn to yogurt reacts negatively to steel. So when making yogurt, pour the hot milk into plastic as I would later on do in this video and use only plastic or wooden utensils till the end of the process. So we're incubating this for seven hours. I'm going to keep it inside my oven for seven hours. You just need it to stay warm for as long as possible. Let's see what we have. Bam, bam, bam. Does this look fermented? It's still warm to touch. It's supposed to be thick. Let me take spin. It's a fail. So since this did not ferment, we need to introduce more bacteria and just keep it overnight and see what we get. Good morning. It's the next day. Everything fail. And let's see what the yogurt is saying. Because how well I wrapped and wrapped and wrapped this thing. So please, I'm um, begging. God damn. What is this? You guys can see this. So we have ourselves Greek yogurt or what? Because this is way under it. And this is the milk curd on top. Oh, I spent so much money on this project. Guys. So much money. My fourth mistake was leaving the yogurt to ferment overnight. That was too much time and it over fermented. Now I have Greek yogurt and whey all separated. 
My first mistake is right here at the very beginning, assuming that one pure water was half a liter. It is not. <laughs> so 10 sachets of pure water did not give me 5 liters of water that I was going for. And the pot I was using is barely 4 liters in capacity. So my measurements were all wrong right from the beginning. And this is the yogurt. The over fermented yogurt. I'm going to risk it now and see what we have. Maybe we can still get something out of it. It's worth a shot. It's a disaster. It's arrant nonsense. People are talking about selling it. But it's not going to waste because you will eat it at home. You eat it at home, but then I see the sadness and the pain in my eyes. So look at the yogurt. I added some whey and tried to whisk it together. But this is far from creamy. So I'm just going to refrigerate it to enjoy. Yeah. And then we have this much whey. Yes, we live and learn, I guess. Ugh. I hate wasting things. I spent so much money hoping to get so much money back. And now I can't even sell it. I can't even sell one. I can't even sell it because it's over fermented. Right? <laughs> There's some peanut butter, jelly, and yogurt. See, when life gives you lemons, so yeah, I'm making quick yogurt parfait out of my failed yogurt batch. So, this is what's left of my loot. <laughs> There's some whey protein here, whey here, whey in all the bottles, and Greek yogurt in here, Greek yogurt in here. So let's just say this is enough motivation to work out. Excuse the church that is happening on a Thursday, but we're in Nigeria. So yeah, I'm going to have to put this to good use because <laughs> this is a lot of protein. And it should not go to waste. So, thanks for sticking around. It didn't turn out as planned. But, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. I'm grateful that at least I can get this much out of it. You know, so. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. So, we're going to try with the yogurt again. And, you all will definitely see. And, yeah. I'll do my best to get a thermometer so that we can avoid something like this happening again. I'll get a cooking thermometer and then we'll, we'll try again. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>